Highway Horror. It's four in the morning and truck driver William Church is driving down an empty highway just outside of Phoenix, Arizona. He suddenly spots something in front of him that makes his blood run cold. William's truck dash cam records the moment when a translucent figure appears to be standing on the right lane of the highway. The truck driver can't believe his eyes, but he's not the only one who spots the bizarre figure. Sitting next to him in the passenger seat is his truck driving partner, Erica Lake. She is also shocked by the sudden appearance of this strange apparition on the road. At first, I thought it was a human, and then when you can't really see the face, and the top of the body up, I was kind of, I wonder what, and then, then we were thinking about maybe it's it's a ghost. I actually twitched the wheel um, to, to miss whoever it was. The highway they are on, Arizona State Route 87, is notorious for its many deadly accidents where countless lives have been tragically cut short. Adding to the mystery, the figure they capture appears to have no upper torso or head. So did the two truckers capture proof of the paranormal? Or just what do you think this is? Let me know. Bearer of bad news. Popular urban explorers Matt and Andy from the YouTube channel Finders Beepers History Seekers are back with another exploration at an abandoned farmhouse in Yorkshire, England. This time they bring along their third team member, a cute little dog named Bear. They gear Bear up with a GoPro camera and a flashlight and he starts to roam around the dark abandoned house. But unlike any of their previous explorations, Bear immediately begins to act very strange. The little dog sniffs around, running from room to room as if he's trying to find something. He's like, oh no, I think I know, you put him inside, what is he doing? Oh, oh, but you rode. He's had a proper mad one tonight. Bear, go find it. Go find it. Find it. Where is it? There's something weird about this place. I feel like we've just had the worst start to a video ever because Bear's just all over the place. And I don't know what you're doing, snorting up. <laughs> got dust up his smells. Oh, I noticed cupboards, to be fair. What we got in here? We've got not very much in the bottom. Is there anything in the... with that? Do you like a whistle? Where's Bear? Bear? <whistles> My concern is that... Oh, he's upstairs. Bear? What was that? I thought he'd hurt himself or something, or... I don't whimper. Yeah. You yeah, little fool, there's something going on with you today. Unless he's caught something. As the guys continue to explore the downstairs of the farmhouse, Little Bear sneaks away again to take another look upstairs. Matt and Andy are sorting through a pile of old books when something happens that is very unsettling. Anyway, I'm gonna have a quick look on this bed, see if I can find anything else. Bear? What's wrong with you? Just started barking randomly. What's the matter with that? You found a rabbit? You found some rabbits? What are you doing? What is it? What you found? I wonder if there's someone outside. The little dog bear barks and then comes charging back down the stairs. Wondering what caused the dog's strange reaction, the Finders Beepers team decides to head upstairs to check the second floor of the farmhouse. They look into one of the upstairs bedrooms, and that's when things take a terrifying turn. What year is that? What even is it? Like, is it out of a bathroom or something? Like an old bathroom cabinet. That's where we've got the USBs. And then that's, that's that got a lock on it there for a bathroom cabinet. That makes no sense at all. Bear, you're just causing so much bother. What the f***? Did you, did you hear that? <gasps> Someone has just fell just run down those stairs. Where 
così bene. Hello? Hello? Matt and Andy suddenly hear someone running down the stairs. They quickly go over and take a look down the staircase, but there's no one there. Now the guys head back downstairs, and after a careful search, they don't find anyone in the house. So they decide to check the footage on Bear's GoPro camera, and what they find is truly chilling. Bear, what are you doing? He's covered in cobwebs. Absolutely covered. Do you know the way of doing this? We can watch his footage back. I'll have to do it on his camera. Yeah. Come on. Right, we need to show you something on this camera, because this camera's in my hand, of what he's just seen. And I haven't looked at all the footage yet. I've just seen one thing and it has chilled me. It has proper chilled me. Look at this. Barking randomly. Found a rabbit. We found some rabbits. In the footage, the poor little doggo jumps back in fear as he finds someone hiding underneath the bed. He barks and quickly runs back downstairs to Matt and Andy. The guys go back up to check the bedroom. I'm in my pants now. Absolutely, absolutely in my pants. But yeah, we'd come up here and whoever it was, from what I can see, I can't even go downstairs ever again. I'm living up here now. Yeah, it's here, look. They've been under there. Whoever it was was under that bed. Yeah, but what? This is horrible, Andy. I can deal with spooky, ghosty things, but real people... People are just unpredictable. If they're laying under a bed in an abandoned house, there's something not right in the first place. What the thing is, right, if Bear hadn't alerted us to it, what would have happened when we came upstairs? God knows. That's that's the thing that worries me. Somebody under bed has just jumped out and grabbed me. Yeah, it's grabbed your leg from under bed. It's like every child's nightmare, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Trust me, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't have been here. I would have been booting him in head. There would have been an Andrew shaped hole in the door. <laughs> Trying to go out, honest to God. Oh, I, 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 I wouldn't have been about. Forget it. Now we'll never know just who this creepy guy was who was hiding under the bed. Was he an innocent squatter? Or did he have bad intentions? But again, this is exactly the reason that I always say people are way scarier than anything paranormal. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Finders Beepers History Seekers. And if you're interested to watch Bear's point of view, you can also watch that video over on his own YouTube channel, Beeper Bear. We need scary videos, so if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com behind the locked door. This week another mysterious video was shared on the Nukes Top 5 subreddit with no original source. The clip was uploaded by an Arabic repost account on Instagram, but the language spoken in the video is Spanish. But wherever it came from, the footage is truly terrifying.
A ball is thrown out of nowhere and a little boy appears behind the cameraman. The boy giggles and then seems to run right through a closed door. Without warning, the horrifying face of a woman seems to lean right out of the locked wooden door, terrifying the filmer. The video then cuts and we have no idea what happens next. Now, as always, when there's no source, I'm certainly not going to say that this bizarre clip is real, but it's definitely very spooky. Follower. One late night in an undisclosed city in Indonesia, a CCTV camera captures a man walking home from work, and he doesn't seem to be alone. A translucent figure seems to appear out of the darkness and creepily follows the man. Now, because we don't have a source, we can only imagine just what might have happened to the man next. Because just what is this? Let me know what you think. Whispers in the dark. These next three videos were shared by a Reddit user named Luke. Luke claims that ever since he was a child that he would experience terrifying paranormal activity when visiting his aunt's home in Iowa. The creepy old house was built way back in the 1860s. And Luke claims that ghostly events happen so often in the house that his aunt isn't even bothered by them anymore. Now, for the first time in 10 years, Luke decides to return to his aunt's house for a visit. And it did not go well. One night at around 2.30 in the morning, Luke is woken up by the eerie sound of voices. He quickly grabs his phone and begins to record. I'm still hearing voices. Listen. Jesus Christ. Luke is now wide awake and continues to record as the unexplained activity in the house only seems to get worse and worse. I hear knocking again. And then something happens that is pure nightmare fuel. childlike voice can be heard whispering something near Luke's ear. Luke says that he could hear the voice saying, who's that guy? One of Luke's viewers believes that the voice then says, he was killed over here. Luke says that the whispering in his room became so intense that he left the house and spent the rest of the night sleeping in his car. So, what do you think? Is this real evidence of the paranormal? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. What looks back? This next video shows a group of friends taking a smoke break at an abandoned old house somewhere in the Philippines. A girl in the group quickly gets creeped out and insists that they all return to the car. 
However, the guys want to take their time, and one of them even decides to pull out his phone and film a bit. Well, it turns out that the girl's creepy feeling about the old decaying house might have been right after all. Because, did you see it? As the cameraman pans around, a horrifying face appears right in front of the lens. The face doesn't look human with creepy round eyes and thin pointy teeth. It appears to have no hair, no nose, and it looks like its veins are bulging underneath the skin. In fact, it looks more like some sort of horrifying creature than a person at all. Unfortunately, the clip suddenly cuts off, leaving us to wonder just what happened next. But is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The Lake Shawnee Amusement Park Paranormal investigators Dustin and Lisa from the YouTube channel The South Cax 2.0 traveled to the abandoned Lake Shawnee Amusement Park in Princeton, West Virginia. Built in 1926, the small amusement park was not exactly up to modern safety standards. It is estimated that in total, six people, mostly children, lost their lives here. The park was eventually closed and left abandoned in 1966. But it is said that even today, the park is severely haunted by the ghosts of its previous visitors. Dustin and Lisa begin their investigation at an abandoned swing ride where a little girl lost her life. Lisa decides to begin what is called a pendulum session, asking questions of the spirits of the park while dangling a pendulum to see if it will move on its own in response. What happens next? is downright creepy. The little girl that's here, the object that I'm holding, it kind of looks like a necklace and you're more than welcome to touch it. It just lets me know answers to questions that I ask you. So feel free to answer as much or as little as you would like. Do you like it here at Lake Shawnee? And that's a yes. Did you see it? While Lisa is asking questions to the spirit of the little girl that passed away on the swing ride, a shadow-like figure can be seen walking from right to left behind the two investigators. Dustin and Lisa don't hear or see anyone and continue their investigation not even knowing what they just caught on camera. So could it be that the spirit of one of the child visitors who passed away at the park came out to attempt to communicate with Lisa? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, The South Cax 2.0. Passing through. Nuke's Top 5 viewer Ryan McLean emailed us about a scary experience he had after a night out in Texas. So, around 2 in the morning, Ryan is driving back home when he comes to a stop at a railway crossing just as the train passes. But he spots something very unusual just across the tracks. dark shadow-like figure can be seen standing and moving around on the other side of the tracks. Ryan finds it odd that some very large person would just be standing next to a car in the middle of the road. So he begins to record the event with his phone. 
but he is shocked when whoever or whatever it is simply seems to fade away and just disappear. Ryan says he went over his footage thoroughly, but he's still not completely sure just what he captured. So is this a paranormal event caught on camera? Or just some very strange man staring almost motionless into someone's car at 2 a.m.? It's pretty creepy either way. Out of left field. These next videos were shared to TikTok by poster all day every day 1772 who owns a small farm in Oklahoma. He says that he and his wife recently moved to their farm and are working hard to transform the land they own into a beautiful harvestable garden and maybe raise some chickens. However, their peaceful plans get derailed when user All Day Every Day comes home from work one night to discover a light on in one of his outdoor sheds. I just got home from work and my shed light is on. Sorry, I'm spinning in the yard just to make sure nobody else is out here. I spoke to my neighbor after that last video, and he said his junior high boys have been pulling pranks on people, so I think it's them. But they don't really have anywhere to go, so I'm gonna bust in here and try and catch them. I don't know what they're doing. Hey! 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 The lights flicker on and off, and then seemingly out of nowhere, a dark figure appears in front of the shed's window. User all day every day rushes over to the shed and checks inside, but he finds no one there. Cut to almost two weeks later, and all day every day hears loud banging noises coming from another one of his outdoor sheds. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. They every day see someone walking around outside the shed. He hurries out to try to catch the trespasser, but just like last time, there's no one there. But when he looks over at his house, he sees something that shakes him to his core. A dark figure seems to walk right into the front door of his home. Now, all day every day calls the police to come and investigate, but no one is found inside the house. So, a couple of days later, late one night, he suddenly hears a loud banging sound coming from his garage. He jumps out of bed and goes to check it out. What he finds is truly bizarre. What is that noise? The door to the attic is opening and closing by itself, but when he pulls out the ladder and climbs up to investigate, once again, there is just nothing there. TikTok user all day every day says that his next step is to set up cameras in his home, but for now, he has no idea what is happening around his farm and doesn't know what to believe anymore. So what do you think is going on at this small farm in Oklahoma? Did the strange shadow figure stalking the farm somehow enter and take up residence inside the home? Let me know what you think. Mirror, mirror. Paranormal investigators Sergei, Nastia, and Dima from the YouTube channel Toppy traveled to a very remote and secluded abandoned mansion in Russia. The large house is incredibly hard to reach, surrounded by a river and only accessible through one bridge which has collapsed over the years. 
The investigators came prepared and brought rubber shoe covers to cross the submerged part of the bridge. With all of the trouble it takes to get to the abandoned mansion, it's extremely unlikely that anyone would be at the house, especially in the middle of the night. But soon after the team arrives, they are exploring the second floor of the building and they already experience something weird. A loud bang suddenly comes from a room behind them. So they decide to set up a static camera inside this room and light a few candles to try to encourage the spirits to make contact. But while they're arranging their candles, this happens. The eerie sound of someone or something knocking on a door from somewhere in the house can be heard and the team starts to get a bit freaked out. After lighting three candles, they leave the room as the static camera keeps recording. A few minutes later, and the camera captures something disturbing. And now the Toppy team decides to bump things up a notch. Investigator Nastia has brought along a 50-year-old mirror that allegedly can be used to summon spirits. Now Sergey and Dima head off to a different part of the mansion, and Nastia goes into a room all alone and sits in front of the old mirror. What happens next is downright chilling. Nastia starts to hear strange sounds just before a dark shape seems to form in the mirror. Nastia now realizes that she might have gone just a bit too far by bringing the old mirror to this very haunted location. She believes that she might have accidentally just summoned a dangerous dark entity. She quickly radios her team members to come back. Dima, Sergei, So, what do you think this is? Is it a ghost or something more dark and sinister? You can watch this entire investigation with even more spooky moments over on the YouTube channel, Toppy. Thanks so much for watching. My upload schedule is still, it's messed up. So please subscribe and hit the little bell icon so that you never miss a video. Follow me on the socials and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.